Before we get into the review, I want to give a huge shout out to NECA for making this review possible and sending us this ultimate Pennywise It 2017 remake horror action figure. If you guys would like to pick up this figure, you can grab it over at their NECA eBay store or pick it up at retailers such as Target. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today I have another NECA horror figure review on the brand new Ultimate Pennywise from the IT 2017 remake. What a beautiful looking figure guys. It, it looks very similar to the other Pennywise that we got but it still looks incredible and it, we're going to cover the packaging. We're going to crack him out of his packaging take a look at all the accessories, what the figure looks like and everything but on the front of the box you can see the house here. You get the iconic red balloon the IT logo spinning it around. You get a great image of Pennywise. IT logo go there. NECA down here. On the back you get some really cool images of the figure. You get a few shots there. There's a little read up on the top left corner of the box. If you'd like to read it you can pause it now. You get all of these nice images of the action figure on the back of the packaging. You get some more action shots of the figure down below. Spinning it around you get another image of Pennywise, the IT logo and another NECA logo and that pretty much does it for the packaging until you do the open window you get a very sweet shot of Pennywise over here and then of course you have the figure window. All of the vehicles accessories, all the interchangeable heads and ish, and that pretty much does it for the box, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack Pennywise out of his packaging. <laughs> and here we have Pennywise out of his packaging, guys, looking absolutely fantastic with all of the beautiful detail that NECA always tends to give us with any action figure they release, man. They always knock it out of the park. They go head first into the thing, and they always kill it. But here we have the dancing clown ready to go, and he doesn't come with, usually with ultimate figures, we get like a ton of it accessories and he comes with a lot of accessories but it's not like you know we usually get like weapons and and other things but with this guy we get a ton of like head sculpts and we get some interchangeable hands but only one like sort of weapon or one you know other accessory typically with ultimate figures it seems like we get like a slew of other type of accessories but anyways we're going to take a closer look at his accessories and then we'll take a closer look at Pennywise himself so taking a closer look at Pennywise's accessories guys we get four interchangeable heads if you include the one that comes on the figure itself. You got this one right here. Oh my god. I guess Pennywise tried to come to life there. But here's the first one. It's sort of him looking upwards and his, he's got like a sort of a smirk and his hair's all blown over. I don't even remember. that. It's been so long since I've seen the film. Didn't that come out at the end of 2017 I do believe? So it's kind of hard for me to remember. I only saw the film once in the theater so I cannot remember this exact scene. The next head scale we do get is the mouth wide open. I think this is when you know they were in Pennywise's lair. This is sort of the face he made before he bit Georgie's arm off and this could be the the head sculpt from that exact moment I, I can't remember but a lot of nice detail in here you got going on I love the eye shape I love the, the they captured the likeness beautifully and then the last head sculpt that we get besides the one that's on the figure is the one where uh, the kid stabbed him in the eye socket and I'm not sure if this is supposed to go in here is this supposed to plug in here I can't remember if they yeah, there you go. It's like sticking out of his head. Is that is that how it's supposed to be? Because I'm pretty sure it, like this is a circle. It's not like I don't think you can stick this end in. So yeah, I think that is correct. So you can stick this down in there. It goes in there really well. It is stuck. It's stuck down in there. You got the half smile going. He's all effed up and stuff like that. I, it sort of reminded me of like a video game glitch in the movie when they stabbed him in the face with this or the eye socket. Uh, it's it's sort of like he got locked up there. Or oh wait a minute, it can go all the way through, can it? Can it go all the way through? There's another hole of here let me see if maybe it's like this maybe i got it all wrong maybe you stick it in there like this and you line that up there it goes now that's pretty sweet now that looks a lot better i was so confused that looks freaking fantastic so you guys can see the spear goes through his eye socket and out the back of it or the side of his skull here and it looks really good i love the way that head sculpt looks they nailed that man but besides that head sculpt if you wanted to interchange them let's go ahead and get pennywise right here and i you can see uh you just pull the head off like that very easy it's got a small little peg here and we'll take the I guess the mouth wide open head scan and you just plop it right on like so they go on very easy they come off very easy be careful when you're removing it though because his little neck piece here will come off as well but they do interchange very very easy and I like it a lot here's the one with the rod going through his head and we'll just stick that on there really sweet stuff besides that you do get interchangeable hands you get the ones that come on his hands which are sort of like creeper grabbing hands like he's reaching out or from scooby-doo whatever you want to call those these i honestly don't know what he's supposed to hold i at first i thought well maybe it's like the balloon holding hand but i think this is supposed to be like the ship holding hands that we got with the other pennywise you know the the ss georgie i think that's what this is supposed to be maybe i, I i'm not sure but then our other 
hand that is interchangeable is the monster hand. You know, everybody has its signature monster hands. It's got some really good details going on. You got some great paint apps in here. NECA always killing it with the paint apps and uh, the, the hands are really easy to interchange as well. My Michael Myers figure was not easily interchangeable. It wanted to like break on me and stuff, but we'll just, you know, plop this. Uh, you know what? So plopping the other hand off, we'll go ahead and stick the interchangeable hand on real quick. Very simple to do. And there you go. And the monster hand is all on there. Really like this really good sculpt on there looks just like it did from the film i do believe maybe i can't remember like i hate that i didn't re watch the movie before i got into this review but uh great looking accessories and everything guys so let's go ahead and move on to pennywise himself so getting into pennywise himself guys we have the head sculpt that came on the figure in the packaging this is that face i believe he was making to georgie when he was down in the sewer when georgie first found him you know when the ss georgie went into the sewer i believe this is you know one of the faces he made there you got his little neck ruffles here here, zooming in just a little bit more here for you guys. Um, you, of course, got his signature outfit that he wore in the 2017 remake. He got the nice gray colorway. I think this is a lot better than the other figure. I feel like the gray tones are a bit different on this figure. We're going to do some comparisons in the next shot of the video, but you got his red buttons going down. You got the nice ruffle sleeves. Very nice sculpting going on with these guys. You got all of the good stuff. Here are those hands that I was talking about, the creeper style hands, like reaching out. I really don't know what to call that, but it's like sort of like throwing slash grabbing slash reaching out type hands you got the rest of his stuff going on nice skinny legs you got his ruffles at the bottom to match his wrists on the back of the figure not much going on you do get some good detailing going down you get the nice belt you get you get all the good stuff from NECA you know, they always give us great sculpts and stuff. The one thing that I will say about NECA is that I wish they would improve more on the posability and the, the, the articulation of their figures. But as far as details, I don't I don't think you can beat them. I think that NECA is hands down the best. Right here we have the shoes, signature Pennywise shoes. They look the exact same as the other figure, I'm pretty sure. You got the balls on there and everything. You know, it's just, it's just Pennywise, man. It's basically just like the other 2017 Pennywise NECA figure that we got, except more accessories. But now that we we have covered Pennywise, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at some Pennywise NECA horror figure comparisons. So here is all three Pennywise NECA horror figures that we have gotten from NECA thus far. We have the Ultimate Edition in the middle, we have the first release on the left, and then we have the original Tim Curry Pennywise on the right, and you guys can see sort of the similarities between here. I think they went with a lighter gray for the uh, Ultimate on the Pennywise here. Um, the head sculpts are different. I do want to see if you can actually pop one of these head sculpts onto this figure. I don't know know if that would you know matter to anybody watching but uh let's go ahead and see if you can do that and i honestly don't want to like snap the head peg yeah maybe you can't maybe 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 that's not a thing but you guys can see you know where where we were from the tim curry version to the remake here and it's pretty cool to see all three of them up next to each other i think it looks pretty cool to see you know that we've gotten all these figures from neck and neck continuing to kill it i know they just showed images that we are getting a freddy versus jason jason Voorhees neck figure but i want to see a kane hotter jason Voorhees figure please god give us a part seven i'll take any kane hotter but part seven preferably i think they would murder that figure great details they'd have to re-sculpt jason they give us the same sculpt for jason so hopefully they could come in you know give us a brand new mold a bigger muscular kane hotter jason Voorhees mold but that's besides the point guys but that pretty much does it for your neca pennywise horror figure comparisons but that pretty much does it for this neca horror figure review on the brand new ultimate pennywise figure guys thank you so very much for watching also i want to give another huge shout out to neca for making this review possible and sending us this ultimate Pennywise figure our way. If you guys would like to pick this figure up, you can do so at retailers such as Target, and you can grab this thing for a great price over at NECA's eBay page, their official eBay page. Go definitely go find this and pick this thing up if you are a Pennywise fan. If you're a horror fan, you want these interchangeable head sculpts, you definitely need to go over to their page, pick this thing up, or check out your local Target. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE horror and awesome action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name toys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.